welcome back to another video we're going to take a look at human builder and we're going to see how we can create a mannequin within katia v5 so in katia v5 we have the possibility to use human mannequins in order to provide accurate simulations of those and their interaction with various products so this will ensure that the products that we design are tailored to the specific tasks now to get started i'm gonna create a new product and you're gonna see how we can get this up and running okay so to get started i will go to ergonomics design and analysis and i'm gonna start the human builder workbench and by default we're gonna see that this will go to a product level as we can see over here and we have the possibility to insert a new mannequin using this feature over here let's take a look at how we can insert new mannequins so we see that we need to specify the father product so in this case this will be product one we're gonna have a name over here so currently i am all the way up to mannequin five because my initial scene already had four so we also have the possibility to do some changes over here the gender so we can create either a man or a woman we also have the percentile percent over here if i'm gonna move my mouse over we're gonna see that this percentile will indicate the group of the new mannequin will belong to so this will mainly be regarding the height and the weight of that mannequin if it will be 250 it will be the average within that group and let's take a look how we can access those statistical population groups so over here within the optional we have the population so within katia v5 we have american canadian french japanese korean german and chinese and we all also can define the whole body or the right forearm or the left forearm for this we also can add some um, referential points i will go with the default one with the h point for this one so i will initially create let's say an american and i will click ok since i already have the product defined over here this will create the mannequin over here now if you want to change let's say various elements regarding the height or the weight of the mannequin you need to go over here within um, the human measurement aid or workbench so this will take us to a new workbench but if i will just click on this we see that nothing happens this is because i also need to select the mannequin in this case will be mannequin 5. and as we can see this workbench is quite small so this is the human measurement eight or workbench we have the possibility to change the gender so even though i created this um, as a male i can uh, swap and change it to a female we also see how the size of this um, updates in real time we can also change the population group so this was american i can go for example to japanese and we're gonna see how that will change now all of this can be changed for example this is the height if i will double click the height the variable list for this will be um, called stature as you can see over here and we see the mean average so um, 1.5 meters over here we also see the um, upper range and the inferior range for uh, for this one if you want to manually control the height you will need to change the management over here to manual and afterwards you can either increase the percentile value over here or you can directly increase the height so let's say for example i want to make this um, one meter um, 750 millimeters i can press tab that will update and keep in mind that you can also extend up to that uh, superior range for example i can type in two meter but in this case we will need to edit also the range as we can see if you want to maintain it within the same um, 
let's say a group we won't be able to do that we see that this is out of range and um, it won't allow us therefore if i want to make this like a really large person like a two meter female i can go and change let's say the population but none of those will will fit so if i will change this um, to american and we go over here we're gonna see that superior range will be higher than the japanese but still this won't be good enough in order to to change that so we see that this is the variable over here and we also have the possibility to display the variable list over here directly so either we click on one of those either i'm gonna um, go over here on the variable list and have that changed now if you want to you can further scale the character so the mannequin but by default within katia v5 you are restricted to that specific value so that the um, objects that you model they are at their true scale one on one and the same will be with the mannequin so keep that in mind now i'm gonna leave this workbench and let's see how we can also create additional mannequins within this same product so i will select product one afterwards go to insert new mannequin and let's say that i want to add um, for example a french and i want the percent to be uh, 100 so this will be the um, highest value and i can just click ok and we're gonna see how those two will be overlapped if i'm gonna add another one for example a german and i want this to be woman you're gonna see how those will be overlapped over there now the best solution to move the mannequin is using the compass over here so i can right click the compass i can go to snap automatically to select the object and i can start selecting so this is the first female mannequin and this is the um, the third one the german that we defined we're gonna see that they will not all be positioned on the same uh, ground floor so keep that in mind depending on the on the product or the use case you will have to move uh, the mannequin over there and as you can see over here we also have the human posture analysis workbench over here if i will click on that and select the mannequin this will take us to this different workbench this is human posture analysis and over here we can go to posture editor and we have the possibility to change specific elements for example for this hand i would like this to be further extended flexion to the top and we can change that so we have flexion or we have extension and depending on this we'll um, we also change the position of the hand now if i will close this and i will go back you're gonna see that we're gonna have that new posture for that mannequin added and within the human builder so which is this one the human measurement editor we're gonna see that over here we also have the possibility to change um, the posture but this will only be regarding the size of the mannequin so by default we are within the um, standing posture if i will go to reaching posture we're gonna see that we're gonna have the dimensions of that reach so mainly let's say the um, the length of the the user arms are, are all printed over here and we also have um, the span posture over here so currently we see that this character has a span of um, 2050 millimeters over here as we can see we also have um, other values over here but if i'm gonna go with manual and have this changed this will also change so we see that this is again out of range 
we need to go either between 207 and 340 millimeters so I'm gonna go with 250 and we're gonna see how our character will be slightly smaller in this case if I'm gonna go all the way to 208 because this is above the inferior range you're gonna see that our character will um, be even even smaller now when I will leave this workbench, even though I see the character has the, um, the hands expanded like this, so position within a span, it will go back to default. So as soon as I will return, the character will have the uh, hands position like this um, in front of the body. Okay, so this is a short overview regarding this. I'm gonna go within um, specific details for each uh, other feature within Katia v5 for mannequins. So if you enjoyed this content, let me know in the comment section. Uh, I will also add this video to Katia v5 uh, tips and tricks. So I'll position that uh, somewhere over here on the video. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.